Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about TFSA. TFSA Tax-Free Saving Account. TFSA was introduced in 2009 and everyone who have 18 years and above is eligible so if you have not yet contributed since 2009 and then your contribution room is big to open a TFSA you have to be Canadian resident have a valid scene be 18 years and above in most provinces. Some provinces require one to have 19 years and above. Contribution limit and contribution room. For you to There's no limit with the number of TFSA account, but stay within the limit. You can have three or two TFSA account, and as long as you don't over contribute, there's no problem with that. Let's see the total amount of contribution limit for someone who have never who have never contributed to the TFSA since 2009 so from 2009 to 20, 2012 the amount was 5000 from 2013 to 2014 the amount worth was 5500 in 2015, they jump it up to 10,000 and then down to 5,500 in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, it was about 6,000, 2020, 6,000. So if someone who have never contributed to this account will have 69,500 cumulative contribution room. TFSA is a non-taxable. It's non-tax deductible, which means you only contribute after tax money. It's not like RRSP where you have to, when you contribute to your RRSP, expect the government to return your tax to you. This one is after tax dollars and the only time that you will benefit is when you invest and you gain interest or capital gain and then you can use that money tax free. Uses of TFSC. <clears throat> It's used for long-term investment. It's also used for short-term investment. Long-term investment, you can put money inside there and grow it. For short-term investment, you can put money inside, grow it in stock or bone. But if the needs arise, you can also withdraw it without no tax penalties investing TFSC others will keep it as saving account which mean they can keep it in low interest account in the bank and hand 1.5 interest which mean these people will suffer inflation risk 
of losing value of their money and they are not gaining no more money on top of that others can keep it in investment company that offer higher interest this the one who keep it in investment company they have advantage of earning more interest on the money and they can withdraw that money tax free others people can invest it in stocks bonds mutual fund etfs let's say for example someone investing it in stock and after 3 weeks they have grown the 20000 into 40000 so that person can withdraw that 40000 tax free so these are the people who actually benefit from the tax free saving account i already explained that like is tax sheltered so it's not tax all the capital gain interest hard can withdraw it anytime and no tax withdrawing from your tax free saving account you can withdraw it anytime the amount you withdraw from the account will be added to your contribution room the following year withdrawals are tax free so in this three topic we will explain more the second point the amount you withdraw from the account will be added to your contribution room the following year so here let's say 2009 your contribution room is 6000 and contribution room you max it out your contribution room become zero withdraw 2000 in this case your contribution room is still zero so when you come to 2020 2020 contribution room is 2000 but since you had withdraw last year the amount of money that you withdraw will be added into your contribution room so your final contribution room will be 8000 so in 2020 instead of you having 6000 6000 contribution room you will have 8000 contribution room What about if you over contribute maybe because you don't understand or maybe you have more money and you just want to risk it so you would be charged 1% penalty tax every month on the excess amount let's say you have contributed in 2019 from month of october to december so your contribution room was 6000 and you over contribute 1000 which mean you contributed 7000 instead so now your excess amount that you put in was 1000 so how much penalty tax do you pay 1% times 1000 will give you 10 1% times 1000 will give you 10 for 3 month you pay 30 30 dollars as a penalty tax this is the end of the video thank you for watching see you next time